Hello and welcome everyone to Experience the Power Wednesday Night Series. We are live on Master Shadow Center Toronto page and group. And it is my honor and joy to welcome each of you from all over the world to join this session tonight. My name is Richie and I usually host these sessions on Wednesday nights. Tonight's special topic is the power of Tao calligraphy healing field. So we have an extremely exciting one hour planned for you. And, you know, we welcome you to share in the comment section that you're here. Let us know where you're from, where you're joining from, your name, and let us know what you're expecting today from this session. It is such an amazing thing to connect this way globally every Wednesday night, share our heart share our thoughts, our feelings, and really have an exciting session every week. So um, today, um, it is a very special day because um, you get to experience um, and learn more about the Tao Calligraphy Healing Field. For me, um, the Tao Calligraphy Healing Field has been an amazingly revolutionary technology to be introduced to. I first experienced the healing from a Tao calligraphy, I think in 2019. And it was something at first I did not understand, but I felt right away in my heart. It made me feel good, it made me feel relaxed, and it made me feel safe, like I could really heal in this safe space that the Tao calligraphies create with light, with love, um, with source, vibration, and frequency. So today's session, we will experience the power of Tao calligraphy healing field, and we will also get to know more what it is about. Uh, we have a special guest as well who will be joining later on um, for some special things we have planned for today's session. But today we have uh, Francisco Quintero from the Master Shadow Center Toronto. He is uh, one of our leading master teachers and practitioners from the Toronto Center. He um, has been trained by the renowned spiritual teacher and humanitarian, Dr. and Master Jigong Sha. Francisco is also the author of the book, Divine Joy, How to Find Joy in Daily Life, and co-author of the best-selling book, Greatest Love. Francisco is a lead teacher and trainer at Master Shah's Tao Academy, and he has managed and developed worldwide training programs based on the teachings of Master Shah. He has personally trained over 6,000 healers, practitioners that are empowering other people all over the world with Tao healing technology. And he has also been featured on many televisions and radio, including BBC Radio and many numerous European publications. So let us welcome Francisco Quintero with all our love and warmth. Please welcome Francisco. Thank you, thank you, Richie. And welcome everyone around the world. Welcome Risto, Tash, Shari, Leila. Uh, welcome Mars, Julianne. Okay, welcome everyone from around the world. So today we're gonna be talking about our ancestors, okay? And why it's important to connect to our ancestors as we begin to close 2021. Okay, can you believe it's already December 8th? <laughs> you know, time goes by so fast. So just take a moment, close your eyes and reflect on your life. You know, what is it that needs to heal in your heart? What is it that you need to let go in 2021? So just take a moment, close your eyes. Breathe deeply to your lower abdomen and feel your heart, the connection with your heart. And ask your soul, your heart, 
What is it that you need to let go to heal in 2021? Maybe you receive a hear a message. Maybe you have an intuitive feeling in your heart. Maybe you see a spiritual image or have a feeling. And we say, thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. Okay, you can open your eyes. Okay, and you can share your experience of what message you received for yourself. So the next few weeks, it's very important that you do some kind of gratitude practice to begin to end the year. Gratitude to the divine, the Tao, the source, to your spiritual fathers and mothers, to your family, gratitude to anyone in your life that you would like to express that gratitude for. Even the people who maybe you've had challenges with, express your gratitude. Very, very important to create success, abundance in your life. So in the new year, uh, beginning in January, we are going to be having a special workshop uh, called Energize Your Spiritual Channels, Connecting with Your Ancestors. Okay, Lila is going to be posting that link. Why are our ancestors important? Because, you know, many of us carry negative messages related to our ancestors. Just think about history and all the mistakes our ancestors have created including ourselves in past lives, all the mistakes we have made, including this life alone. So by honoring, appreciating our ancestors, by connecting to them, by doing forgiveness practice, we are able to clear so much negative information in our life. And what will happen is that is when you will be able to create greater success, happiness, love, abundance in your life, which is what we want in 2022, okay? I feel 2022 is going to be a very big year. Yes, there will be challenges, you know? We have many challenges right now in life, but they could continue on in 2022. But at the same time that we have challenges, don't always look at it, look at it as negative. Master Shah has a teaching that says, Success and disaster happen at the same time. So whenever there are challenges, if we're able to express our gratitude, if we're able to pull through those blockages, we can have great success in our life. And sometimes maybe that's not in the physical realm, financially or with you know other material things. But spiritually, we could also have great, great success during times of difficulty. So our ancestors play a very, very important role uh, because our ancestors, you know, think about your ancestors. Uh, if you reflect back of your ancestors, my ancestors are, uh, one group of my ancestors are from Mexico uh, and they immigrated to the United States uh, to California. Uh, so there's that group of ancestors. And if I go back into the lineage tree, uh, ancestors, native, you know, people from Mexico, but also then there was also some Europeans uh, as well. So there's all this rich history uh, and things that our ancestors were doing. Some of our ancestors were enlightened beings. Think about your grandparents or your great grandparents, if you got to know them. Uh, you know, they could have been enlightened beings. Their quality of love, forgiveness, compassion, light just could have nourished. They could have healed many, many people. 
uh, many times we only think about big saints in history as enlightened beings, but our ancestors could have also been enlightened beings. Uh, they were just not famous, but they had an incredible amount of love. They overcame many challenges. And when we're able to connect with that, we can gain their courage, their confidence, their love to move through life issues that we may encounter because they've also gone through that. If I think of my own, my own grandma, she was 98 years old when she transitioned. It's like, wow, 98. Like, you know, and some people have lived longer than that. But imagine the, the struggles they went through, but also the things they overcame, the life struggles that they overcame all the things that they experienced in life and those life experiences can empower us so by connecting to our ancestors we are able to learn from them receive their blessings also to help us to move forward not all of our ancestors you know sometimes uh i've had situations where many times we think our ancestors were all like you know, did bad things. They started wars and they did all this horrible stuff. But that's also, that's true. But also there's the other side. Some of our ancestors did wonderful things on Mother Earth. They cared for people, offered love. They brought people together. They created uh, inventions that did good for humanity. They brought love, peace, harmony for humanity. So there's two sides to both those uh, and there is something, you know, when we look at our lineage and our ancestors, we don't, we, uh, in the teachings of Dr. and Master Jigong Sha, we just don't look about this lifetime. In this lifetime, I have my father, my mother, my grandparents, who I love very much. I had great grandparents, great parents myself. Uh, but if you look at all your lifetimes put together. Who were your ancestors in past lives? Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever thought about, you know, some of these uh, saints or people who have created written books or done these amazing things throughout history? Some of these people were our ancestors in past lives. So we have a teaching that says the, your immediate ancestors, those are like your, your parents, your grandparents, your great grandparents. But then like we have another one that says your most important ancestors. What do I mean by that? These are your ancestors from this life or past lives who were enlightened beings on Mother Earth. Imagine we had ancestors who were enlightened and they were spreading love, peace, and harmony. Their hearts were very open. Imagine receiving messages from them to guide our life, to help us to prepare for 2022 to bless us for 2022. Some of these and most important ancestors were saints. If you hear about the saints in history, some of them had families um, and they, you know, or some of us, some of these saints also have past lives. So these most important ancestors have contributed in a very big way to our spiritual growth and development. Uh, there is actually a teaching of Master Shah that says that success is, um, you know, you have to look at your ancestors. It's kind of like um, inheritance, you know, where you don't really do anything, but you inherit property or you inherit money. It's in the spiritual realm, it's very similar. You inherit virtue, you inherit Dao Da, the Dao nourishment from all the good things that your ancestors have done.
And yes, we do also carry some of the blockages that they, and the negative information that they have created. So we, we need to do both. We need to transform the negative and we need to boost the positive. So in January, we're going to have a special workshop that helps us to connect to our ancestors, to open our spiritual channels so that we can grow and develop more in 2022. Okay, so let us do a little practice now uh, to help us open our heart. The heart center, the message center, is one of the keys to open your spiritual channels. So if you ever want to like receive a message from one of your ancestors, someone who has transitioned, a saint, the message center is key for that. Okay, so let's do a little practice before we continue. Okay, so sit up straight, put one hand on your lower abdomen, one hand over your heart center in the middle of the chest, and close your eyes. Relax the crown of your head, your neck, your shoulders, and breathe deeply to your lower abdomen and release. Repeat after me. Dear Tao Source, dear Divine, dear all my spiritual fathers and mothers, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Please open my heart and soul. Open my heart center. Open my spiritual channels to be able to communicate with my ancestors, to communicate with the saints, I cannot thank you enough. I'm so honored and appreciative. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. And we are going to chant the mantra, Da I, Da I, open my heart and soul. So what does that mean? Da I is in Mandarin, and it means simply greatest love. D-A-A-I. Da, D-A, means greatest I, A-I, love. Da-I, Da-I, open my heart and soul. If this is your first time chanting with me this mantra, just uh, listen first, uh, and then you can chant with me. So we're going to say Da-I, Da-I. We'll repeat that twice. Open my heart and soul. Let us begin. Deep breath. And you visualize golden light in your heart. Okay, deep breath. da I die, open my heart and soul. I die, open my heart and soul. I die, open my heart and soul. Die, 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 die, 
Open my heart and soul, die, die. 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 Open my heart and soul. Silently. Chant silently. And visualize your heart as expanding. Your heart center is growing. The field is growing from the size of an orange to the size of a soccer ball or basketball. Expand bigger. The size of your body. Your heart is as big as your body. Feel the love and in every organ, system, body part. Expand further. The size of your home. The size of the city that you live in. The size of the country you live in. The size of Mother Earth. This out to infinity. Feel the love and the light. One heart, one love. You are connected to the countless planets, stars, galaxies, universes. You are connected to the universal heart. Try to feel the heartbeat of the universe. Let us continue to chant. Die, die, open my heart and soul. Die, die, open my heart and soul. Die, die. 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 Open my heart and soul, I die. Open my heart and soul, I die. Open my heart and soul, I die. Open my heart and soul, die, die. Open 
open my heart and soul. I die. Open my heart and soul. I die. Open my heart and soul. Silently. Feel the oneness, feel your heart very open. Take a nice deep breath into your lower abdomen, release. And bring your hands together, like in a prayer position. Put it in your heart center in the middle of the chest, and we're going to tap our heart center, okay? You could tap it quite firm, okay? And we're going to chant the sound light, okay? But really, really fast. And visualize the light. Chua, 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 chua. Okay. Start. La 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 Oh, yeah, Okay, pause. Okay, feel the vibration. Oh, you can feel boom, 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 boom. Okay, breathe deeply to your lower abdomen. Close your eyes. I want you to think about a saint, an angel, or a Buddha of your choice. Repeat after me, dear, say the name of the saint, angel, or a Buddha. Do you have a message for me? Ask a question. Do you have a message for me? For 2022. Thank you. Just listen to the message with your heart. Maybe you see an image or you have a feeling or maybe you have an intuitive feeling or maybe you hear a voice. and express your gratitude. We say, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Tao Source, divine. And you could give thanks to the saint angel Buddha that gave you the message. Even if you didn't get a message, that's okay. Say, thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you. Okay, you can open your eyes now, move your body, notice how you feel, everyone. If you got a message, I'd love to know what you got, <laughs> okay? If you didn't get a message, that's also okay, you know? Uh, you know, we, we, in the future, you can receive additional training to open your spiritual channels. Uh, and in, in January, during the workshop, uh, um, regarding energizing your spiritual channels, connecting with your ancestors, we will do practices to help you gain deeper awareness, connection with your ancestors to receive a message. But we're also going to assist you, okay? Uh, Rose said, amazing. My message was, I will be fine. <laughs> That's a great message, okay? Yes, we're all going to be okay. Okay, whatever happens in 2022, we're all going to be just perfectly fine the way that heaven has intended. Okay. Uh, our Jesus is giving amazing, okay? So lots of energy, lots of light, okay? So getting messages is very, very important to start the new year, to move forward into 2022, because our ancestors, the saints, angels, Buddhas can guide us in very, very sacred ways. Okay, so next we're going to bring on a special uh, guest, and she's going to sh uh, we're going to do a reading, okay, uh, on how 
she has some life challenges and we're, I'm going to do a reading for her for 2022. Okay. Cynthia said, remain focused. That's a good one. <laughs> uh, S. Jane said, my message was, I have to love myself more. Yes, I would agree with that, S. Jane. Uh, Risto said, from Mother Mary, brighter in 2022, continue to spiritual practice. Great message, Risto. So let us bring on our special guest. Okay, welcome, Hi. Marlena. <laughs> Marlena, if you can share your the life transformation that you're going through and what kind of guidance you need as we start to prepare for 2022. Yeah, so thank you for having me. This is a privilege and an honor. Um, so yeah, like basically I'm, I'm trying to transcend uh, uh, my victim mentality, my scarcity mindset. I'm, I'm trying to change my relationship with money and uh, trying to figure out career as well. Um, so I, I've made a financial independence a goal for myself so that I can afford my own place and um, transition off of ODSP. Um, and yeah, I was just curious about some- Marlena, um, can you share with everybody what kind of career options you're thinking about? And then uh, yeah. I'll talk with you to see which one is the best for you. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I had a couple of ideas. Um, I, I think I'm really most drawn towards healing, but I guess my hesitation in there is that while I recognize I don't have to be perfectly healed or a perfect person before um, entering such a field. I just feel like perhaps this is good for me, but not maybe not the right moment in time. And that there are also some um, doubts or fears around whether I can, um, whether this makes sense financially. Um, so yeah, uh, healing something in the service of others, um, uh, baking or maybe catering, um, but there's some hesitation there around a uh, physical injury. Um, and uh, I'm also interested, I was thinking, um, I'm also interested in the trades, so something creative like uh, cabinet making or woodworking. And then I was thinking if I, like I, I, I am expected to recover from my injury, but I thought maybe in the interim I would do something like teaching ESL or maybe getting like a data entry job. Okay. Um, and Martin, how's your back? So right now I would say like no discomfort and no pain. Okay. Um, yeah, in this moment it feels okay. How about before? Before? Like a general, like every, on a daily basis, with is there some pain there? Yeah, so maybe it's it's present, but it's maybe like a two or three out of ten if if I don't engage it. Okay. Um, but yes, yeah, so like I it's uh, I did do groceries, I think yesterday, and like my my back was hurting just from like holding grocery bags. Okay. So it's yeah, some days are better than others. I did. Okay, so go ahead and close your eyes, Marlena. Everyone can close your eyes. And relax. Just breathe into your lower abdomen. I'm going to first sing my Tao song to connect to your soul, to heaven, and to help us to get a message. Yamma ya yo ya yo yo Aya na yamma ya yo Amma ya sola yo Aya ya La lu ya ya yo He ya yo ya He ya ya yo ya yo How 
this is the soul of Mother Mary, my most beloved daughter, Marlena. I wish to speak to you on this day. I am one of your most important ancestors in a past life. We were connected in a very deep way. I offer you my love and my healing beloved daughter. For you, what is important at this time is to have more joy in your heart. You have lost this or it has dissipated over the past few years, especially since your injury It is time to live more fully and to bring joy into your work, into your service. For you, beloved daughter, in the interim, what is recommended for you is some type of administrative job for you. But this is not your long-term goal. It is just temporary as your back becomes stronger. Over the next one year, focus on strengthening your back, healing your back. You can do it. And within one year, to two years, what is something that will bring great joy to you is baking and catering. This brings you great joy to your heart. As you are doing this, you will gain greater confidence at the same time for healing for healing yourself, but also to heal others. This will take time. All of these careers and jobs will be to regain your confidence, strength, and to bring joy back into your life. Long-term, you are the healer to bring healing to humanity. But this will take time, beloved daughter. You can do it. You have all the skill sets, the wisdom, the intelligence to overcome all your challenges. Start today. Start today and your life will be blessed. This is the message we give to you, beloved daughter. You are most loved and blessed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Mother Mary. Okay, Marlena, how do you feel? I feel amazing. <laughs> yeah, the energy has shifted and the advice was very specific. <laughs> So I, yeah, I couldn't ask for more. This was really exceptional. And do you think that this is a possible thing that you can do? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. I'm gonna give you a blessing to help manifest all of this, okay? Close your eyes again. Thank you. Dao blessing to Marlena to manifest success, happiness, healing, joy, in 2022 for her new career and more. Transmission! 
よまよやよよやよろなさんばやよあんまややよや Silently And we say thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. Okay, you can open your eyes, Marlena. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. Did you feel that? Yeah. What did you feel or see or any messages you got? I, I think mostly I just feel lighter. I can, f yeah. I can Wonderful. Feel my body. Pardon me? <laughs> Wonderful. <Yeah. laughs> Thank you. Okay, Marlena. So we wish you success in 2022 uh, and see what new career brings forward. But I feel 2022 will be a much better year for you with all these blessings than 2021. Awesome. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Marlena. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for taking the time for being here. Yes. Okay. Let's give Marlena a big hand. Okay very powerful yes so we all need messages from heaven to guide our life okay so that's what into uh, in our workshop in january we will be connecting with our ancestors we will be receiving messages from all of our ancestors and saints everyone who joins this workshop will be receiving uh, the name of one of your ancestors now have no attachment because sometimes our ancestors, they're not always like big saints like Mother Mary. Sometimes they could be like Einstein or other, you know, historical figures who did great things for humanity. Uh, so so uh, when we reveal that name to you, you know, you can learn how to connect with your ancestor, get messages to guide your life, okay? So we'll be spending that time together in January to help bless the rest of 2022, as well as doing some practices to help energize our spiritual channels, okay? I see Diliana, you can do it, Marlena. Amazing, big congratulations. Rosetta, beautiful message. Uh, excuse me one second. Uh, Shari, congratulations, Marlena. I'm so happy for you. Happy 22. <laughs> yes, you know, big, uh, it's almost the end of the year. Can you believe that? Okay. So uh, Layla has posted there the link for you to be able to join our workshop, Energize Your Spiritual Channels. Uh, you could read the description there also as well. But it's also a really great time to be in the Tao calligraphy healing field to receive the nourishment to kickstart a very positive new year. Uh, give me one second, everyone. Okay, so I'm going to give everyone a blessing, not just Marlena. Okay, so let us all close our eyes. Everyone make your own wish for 2022. Okay, so close your eyes. And this is a Tao blessing to help you manifest your big wish. Blessings start silently. Feel the love, the light, the frequency, vibration. Transmission. Now we come together, we say thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you. Love you. 
Okay, open your eyes and move your body. Notice how you feel. Okay, share uh, your experience uh, receiving this little blessing to help your dreams come true in 2022. You know, in that blessing, I felt this big, I myself felt like a big saint just wah, above my head. And then it was just coming down. And then like the light, the frequency was, zoom, was going out to everybody. Uh, so I, I know whenever I feel tingling in my head, I know that something special has happened. So, you know, we're coming close to the end of the year. Time to express your gratitude, and but also to prepare to, you know, plant the seeds, the positive seeds for 2022. Sanjay said, feeling inner peace after the blessing. Uh, thank you, Sanjay. Okay. Uh, Rosetta is giving her love with little hearts. Okay. So don't miss it. Be with Share with Alan and myself. We will be leading the Energize Your Spiritual Channels, Honoring Your Ancestors Workshop for 2022. It is to bring greater success, happiness, joy, and more in your life. Risto said, thank you, Francisca. It was like a beautiful ray covered me. Marilyn, I felt a huge uh, light go off in my heart. <laughs> Wonderful, Marilyn. Ani Palma, thank you. I feel so much light and brightness in my heart. Barbara, I felt ABI. I think there was a typo there. Mm -hmm. Rosetta, my heart is tingling and feeling very grateful and thankful for the blessings. Jyota, so special. Thank you. Shari, I felt intense love, support, and encouragement to do what I need to do. Thank you so much for such a special blessing. Jota, feeling the love and the light. Wonderful. Cynthia said, receiving beautiful love and peace. Uh, just two more. Diliana, deeply grateful for this powerful blessing. Let us move forward into 2022 with the greatest love and light. Yes, we are going to move into 2022 with a lot of love and light. Uh, Adriana, grateful to you for this for your kindness to us always. Thank you, Master Sean, the Gadal Calligraphy Healing Field. And the last one that I'll read, Barbara, felt abundance lifting my whole body and soul. Wonderful. Okay, so thank you everyone for joining today. It was uh, There was a lot of special little blessings here, so please share the Facebook post for your friends, your loved ones who uh, might be interested in blessing their new year, connecting with your ancestors, the spiritual channels, uh, little pearls of wisdom, blessings for each, everyone, okay? So thank you everyone for joining, and we're going to bring on back uh, Richie for any final announcements. Thank you, everyone. Love you all. Thank you, thank Richie. You so much, Francisco. How amazing was today. Oh my God, the blessings, the love, the light. It was just pouring in and the da I open my heart was such a powerful practice. Thank you so much, Francisco, for being here and leading us through such a special session today with teachings on ancestors and opening our heart to the love that is there for us always and opening our heart in such a way for us to be able to welcome 2022 with such grace and joy. So thank you again, everyone, for being here. Thank you so much, Marlena, for being here to receive that reading. We are all so excited for you and for all the changes that are to come for you. And we're giving you all the best, all our good wishes for 2022, all your career changes and you know, healing your back and everything that you shared. Um, Aisha is giving, uh, wishing a blessed new year to everybody. Rosetta is giving her love. Harvane is saying that there were powerful blessings and uh, ready for lots of success in the year 2022 and our soul journey, definitely Parvane. So please continue sharing your thoughts, your feelings. Um, it really was such a powerful session today. My heart is just resonating so much. <laughs> it's so much joy in this field right now. So thank you everyone for sharing in this, for building this together. 
um, as Francisco shared um, and Leela also posted the link, check out Energize Your Spiritual Channels, Honoring Your Ancestors 2022 event. It will be in January on January 15th and 16th, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is only offered once a year and it is the most special way to start your year. I have been in that workshop every single year ever since I've gotten to know about it. It will be my fourth year in January and it is such a powerful workshop to be a part of. This is truly not to be missed and it is such a celebration to connect with your ancestors and begin your year with that power, with that joy, with that love and support. And um, there is a special 30% off discount for people who register before the 18th of December. So do not miss this chance. Take this special early bird fee and register share it with your friends, with your family members, with people you know would be interested. Um, and also this Saturday on December 11th, we have a very special masterclass with Francisco Quintero from 12 to 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is um, going to be on Zoom, so register for it, receive the link to join. It would be one and a half hours of very special teachings on um, the, you know, heaven saints guiding and lighting your path for 2022, setting the foundation to end this year in a good way and beginning the next year in a very powerful way. It is guided by spirit, light your path with heaven saints. Do not forget to register if you haven't yet and join us on Saturday for this very special masterclass. And again, do not forget to check energize your spiritual channels honoring your ancestors with um honoring your ancestors 2022 sorry about that love you everyone and so grateful to be here together today uh share this video feed with everybody you know share the love share the joy and let's you know celebrate you know uh finishing 2021 in a very special way completing december in a very special way until next time love you all so much bye and good night from toronto